Good morning, Forest. I'm Tori. And I'm Lindsay. Today's date is Thursday, February 3rd, and on today's show, we'll be taking a look at all of our upcoming events and sports. February 1st marks the first day of Black History Month. Black History Month was first proposed by black educators at Kent State University. It was then officially celebrated one year later in 1970. Since then, we've celebrated Black History Month from the beginning to the end of February. A very influential person that represents this month is Martin Luther King Jr. Let's learn more with Tori. Good morning, Forrest. I'm Tori, and as you may know, February is Black History Month. Today, let's take a closer look at American's prime civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. with Courtney. Martin Luther King Jr. had a monumental impact on African American history. He was an American Christian minister who became a spokesperson in the fight to earn the freedom they deserved. Martin Luther King kept peace in the protest with his most inspiring speech, I Have a Dream, on August 28, 1964, held in Washington, D.C. He impacted the world with his message and made Americans feel ashamed for their wrongdoings that they have stretched back to slavery. This led to the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which was the end of segregation. Sadly, Martin Luther King did not get to see the outcome of his work when he was assassinated on April 4, 1968, only at the age of 39. His death left Americans devastated. However, he left an imprint on the world that will never be forgotten. Martin Luther King continues to affect our lives every single day and will always. Once again, I'm Tori. Let's throw it back to the anchors. We can participate in Black History Month by supporting black-owned businesses and donating to anti-racism charities. Yeah, I'll make sure to do that. The results for the Matchmaker Questionnaire will come in late February and will be $2 each. There will be prizes given away such as Krispy Kreme donuts, spirit shirts, and gift cards to those that did the questionnaire. Juniors and seniors prom guest forms are due February 18th. All forms are online at the FHS school's website. Grad bash tickets are now on sale through February 18th for $115. Go to the link below or order online. Once you place the order, you must stop by and see Ms. Miller for your ticket and permission slip. If it does not allow you to purchase a ticket for any event, it's because you have a debt or major discipline issue. See Ms. Miller to clear it up. If you want to enjoy these fun events, you can clear them up either on Skyward, under Fee Management, or on Destiny. Prom guest forms, WOCO guest forms, and Powder Buff permission slips are available in the Activities Office. Also, WOCO tickets are on sale until next Wednesday. Speaking of WOCO, here are the themes for the week. Monday is Celebrity Day, Tuesday is Dress Like Your Type, Wednesday, Dress Anything That Starts With The First Letter Of Your Name, Thursday is Decade Day, and Friday is Rave Day. Our yearbook is now on sale on Balfour.com for $90. Seniors interested in senior ads, please see Mr. Guest or go to Balfour.com. Students, The Rock is now open and has been for a while. Make sure to stop by for a helping hand. We'll be right back. With winter sports finishing up, let's throw it over to Abigail with our sports updates for today. What's up, Forrest? I'm Abby here with all of your sports news and updates. and cheer team scored a 76 in semifinals, making the top three, allowing them to move to finals and then scoring a 78 in finals and making them six in their state for their large non-tumbling division. They're the first team to go to state finals in 18 years. Way to go, Wildcats. Yesterday, boys basketball played Columbia. The freshman team won and JV and varsity unfortunately lost. 
Boys and girls soccer both played Eastridge last night and unfortunately lost as well. Our girls weightlifting team recently competed in the regional championships this weekend. Haley Herrera placed seventh overall, Ava Pizzuti medaled with a fourth place finish, and Alexis Hogan is our regional champion. Huge congratulations to them. Last night, Forrest went against Bellevue and Taveras and came out on top with first place in overall. In 119 class, Nathan O'Hare took first place. 129 class, Caden Fried took first place. And 154 class, Seth Scheller took first place. In 169 class, Evan Jones took first place. 183rd class, Lucas Sprung came in third. In 219 class, Omarion Leslie took third place. In 238 class, Brennan Valdez took second place. And in a limited class, Nathan St. Clair took second place. This is a great start to the season. Way to go, Wildcats. This morning, Gabrielle had a chance to speak to one of our weightlifters. Let's take a look at what he had to say. What's up, Forrest? I'm Gabrielle here with one of our Wildcat weightlifters, Brennan Valdez. So, Brennan, you guys went against Bellevue and Tavares last night. How did yeah. that go? Um, I feel like it went pretty well. Um, a lot of trial and error. Um, I feel like next time we'll know what we're doing. And how do you think that you personally did during this meet? Personally, I was a little nervous, uh, so I feel like I wasn't able to go to my full potential, but... Now that I know what I'm doing, next time it'll be. And how do you think the outcomes of the season will be? Like, will they be good? Will they be bad? What do you think? Um, I feel like we're going to have a good season this year. Um, I'm excited to see what the future holds for us. All right. Thank you for coming out. And I wish you guys good luck for the rest of your season. And I hope you have a good day. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, this has been Gabrielle reporting. Now back to our anchors. Thank you, Gabrielle. Now, if you're interested in track shirts and want to support the team, the team is holding a fundraiser where they'll be selling them. Ask a team member for the link and code to buy. Girls interested in playing flag football, please go see Coach Elliott. He's located at the end of Upstairs B Hallway. Trials will be held February 15th through the 18th, and they have already started conditioning, so go and check with the coach to see when and where they will be. If anybody is interested in football, there is a parent meeting at 6 p.m. tomorrow in the cafeteria. This is a chance to meet our new Coach Cullen and hear his vision for the future of Forest High School football. That's all the sports updates I have for you today. Now, once again, I'm Abby, and back to our anchors. Thanks, Abigail. It's great to see our sports teams working so hard and having such amazing seasons. We'll be right back. What's up, WCAT? My name's Taylor Main, and I'm here to tell you all the information you need to know on WOCO Week. Your events for the week start Tuesday with Cats Got Talent, moving on to Wednesday, which is the last day to buy WOCO tickets, then move on, moving on to Thursday, where is the Powder Buff Tournament that is being played starting at 7 p.m. in the FHS gym, and then we have Friday, the WOCO Dance, 8 to 10 in the gym. Your dress-up days for the week start with Monday being Celebrity Day, Tuesday, dress like your type day, Wednesday, dress like the first letter of your name day, then Thursday, going to Decade day and Friday going to neon day. This has been Taylor Main on WOCO week. Now back to the anchors. Tickets for the cabaret fundraiser are now on sale. The theme is around the world. There will be culinary items from around the globe by Chef Stanley and FHS Culinary. Chorus students will also be showing off their talents, some even singing in different languages. The Canto Cats will be closing the ceremony. The show is from 6 to 8 p.m. on February 18th to 19th. Tickets can be purchased at ocala.fhschorus.com slash tickets. That's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on TikTok and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Tori. Have a great day, Forest, And like always, go, go Cats! Cats.